Hi, my name is Bill Hahn. I'm with Perkin Elmer. I'm a field application scientist for GC, GC Mass Spec, and I've been working with the Torian T9, and we have a field portable GC Mass Spec. It can run on battery power for two and a half hours, has its own helium source. You'll get about 200 injections out of this. My run times are about three minutes and I can use a variety of sample introduction techniques. I can use SPEMI and I can use something called a needle trap. So the needle trap is a thermal desorption device. I can analyze air and what we'll do is while we're talking through this is I will actually run a sample so you can see how simple this is to operate. We have a start run button. I will press that and this has a standard in it that I'm going to inject. So make an injection like so and then the run is going to proceed. This has a low thermal mass GC oven which means that the column is integral with the heating element as well as the temperature sensors. It's about this big around and I can heat it very quickly which allows me for very fast analysis. As a result it also uses very little power. One of the things you want to accomplish with a field portable instrument is using less power. So we've decided to use a toroidal ion trap as the mass spectrometer in this. As a result of that, the design of it, we don't have to use as much uh, vacuum power as we would use with our benchtop GC mass spec. That being the case, I can use a smaller battery. This unit weighs 32 pounds. I can carry it out into the field and I can do my analysis. I can use regular thermal desorption tubes so that I can put a, uh, one of our pumps to this and pull through even a hundred liters of air and then I can desorb this using our sample prep station onto the needle trap, add internal standard and then inject on here and I can quantitate down to low parts per billion. Spemi fiber allows me to measure headspace of uh, different items, especially if I wanted to look at uh, groundwater samples and measure things like gasoline in there looking for VTEC. Low parts per billion just exposing the SPEMI to the headspace of even a 60 milliliter vial and then analyzing on here. And so my retention times are measured in seconds. The, this is an, actually a three minute run, which is longer than I usually go. It's usually a two minute run. My peaks are about one second wide, but I can still get 10 scans across it. It has an onboard computer that allows me to get my results in the field. I can hook it up to a laptop computer, and we have our Chrome Ion uh, software that allows me to crunch the data. I can search the NIST uh, library for matches, and I can put together my own special libraries to go into the system and tag certain chemicals that I want or don't want to see. So it makes it easy to do quantitation in the field for air samples. Uh, with the SPEMI fibers, we're looking for ID. We're not looking for quantitation. Um, this is the perfect instrument to be used in the field to when you need accurate chemical intelligence right now. And so now our run is finished. That run would have taken about a half an hour on a regular uh, conventional GC. And it's processing the results and it will list them out on the screen. And um, if you have this back in your laboratory, you can of course plug it into shore power and it has a quick connect so that you can hook up helium to the back of it and not use these little helium cylinders that typically accompany you out in the field. And our results are finished. This would have taken a half an hour on a conventional GC. For more information, go to our website, which is www.torion.com or perkinelmer.com. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.